Hey, <laughs> thanks guys. Guys, this means the world to me. I wouldn't be here without you guys. Let's plop in. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the Potty Mouth Show. This week we're back to celebrities, but we're gonna see who won because Blake and I really don't follow award shows and we don't really know who wins what. So our, produ our production team thought it'd be fun to make a game out of it on a segment that we'd like to call Hump Day. So how this is gonna work, there's gonna be five videos of different celebrity events, the Grammys, uh, Oscars, probably Golden Globes. Golden Globes, stuff like that, and we are going to guess out of all the nominees who won the the award. Whoever has the most points win, and the loser receives a punishment. Hooray! Let's get started. All right, here Very we go. Good. Nominees for best performance by an actor in a motion picture, musical, or comedy are. Jeff Bridges, The Fisher King. Billy Crystal, City Slickers. Dustin Hoffman, Hook. Kevin Klein, Soap Dish. Robin Williams, The Fisher King. The winner. I feel like we should have written these down. I already, I got an idea. I do too. Okay. Three, two, one. City Slicker, mm -hmm. Hook. I'm saying the movie. I don't remember the guy's name. What, you don't either, do you? No. Yeah. What's the guy's name? I don't even know. The guy from Hook. Robin Williams? No, 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 no. Oh, Dustin. No, no, no. Dustin Hoffman. There you and, go. Uh, Billy Crystal. Billy Crystal. Billy Crystal. You said Billy Crystal. I said Dustin Hoffman. And the answer is... Here's Robin Williams. Whoop. Right. So heavy. There's nothing on it. How appropriate. <laughs> In the words of George Bush, Arigato Gazayama. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, dude, I love Robin Williams. Yes. Okay, so no points for either of us, but Robin, rest in peace, man. Uh, your your work lives on. Okay. Let's see the next video. For the record of the year, the nominations are. I want it that way. That's the boy. I want it that way. Do you believe? Believe. Share. And the Grammy goes to... Alright, I got my answer. D okay. Three, two, one. I want it that... Uh, I'm gonna say I want it that way too. But, uh... I'll change it. I'm gonna you say... Can I can, since I, I want the point. I'm gonna say... Believe by Cher. What? What? You give me a weird look? Out of all of them, you pick that one? Well, I don't okay. think I don't think okay, hold on, hold on. I don't think Smooth had the popularity. Like it was it was great it was still a great song. I just don't think it was as there popular. There was one other song that I would have probably picked if not that one. What? La Vi Live in La Vida Loca? Yeah. All right, I'm doing Live in La Vida Loca. I'll go like secondary choice. Hold on here. <laughs> One to three, two, one is so that you. All right, do it. Give us. Okay, I got it. Okay, go ahead. 
Final answers. Okay. Backstreet Boys. <laughs> I was right. I was right. That was my first guess. That was not your first guess. No. What, my Nobody first said guess. Santana. Yeah. What? We both said Backstreet Boys. Oh, we both Boys. said Backstreet Boys at the first one. And then you went with... This round is all screwed up, guys. <laughs> Still zero, zero points. <laughs> One of us is going to figure this out. <laughs> okay, moving on. Or get lucky. This talented group of actors have also made their mark as directors, producers, and writers in both feature films and television. Here are the nominees for Best Actor in a TV Series Comedy. Zach Braff, Scrubs. Steve Carell, The Office. Mary David, Curb Your Enthusiasm. Jason Lee, My Name is Earl. Charlie Sheen, Two and a Half Men. And the Golden Globe goes to... I, oh, crap. I know exactly I no who idea. I'm choosing. Because you've probably seen this one. I haven't. I haven't. I don't watch Golden, I don't watch Golden Globes. You know that? But I know what it is. I'm pretty sure. I, there's two people that I have in mind. All right, all right. Three, two, one. Steve Carell. I was gonna say Charlie Sheen. Okay. With two and a half men, right? Yep. Okay. Yep. So I say I say The Office with Steve Carell. That was gonna be my other. My point. second one would have been uh, Scrubs. That would have been my third. Okay. Let's see who the winner is. Come on, give me a point. I want a point. Steve Carell, the author. Yeah! Wow, I, uh, I really did not expect this, so I didn't write anything. However, my wife did and handed me something. <laughs> um, See, I never saw the office. I'd like to thank the Hollywood before. Foreign Press for this great honor. I would also like to thank my wife, Nancy, <laughs> for her constant support and for being so beautiful tonight. That's true. <laughs> Okay, so I got a point. Woo! I'm on the board. Moving on to the next one. This is perfect. I was going to say, <laughs> like, shoot, great. Now we can see them all. Hmm. Okay. I'm, I, hold on, I don't know. <laughs> say it for me. Jeez. I didn't say it for you. I said, I'm, a, I'm okay. I'm As in, I'm ready. Mm hmm. <laughs> Trying to make me rush. <laughs> Actually, there's a couple that I can... I've, All I've, right. I've eliminated two. So All right, I'm going to go with my, my gut. I got mine. Okay. Three, two, one. Roar. Give me a reason. You're saying give me a reason? I say Roar. I think Katy Perry, that was her year. That was the biggest song of the year. She did the Super Bowl that year, too. That was the year? When Roar came out, she did the super, halftime at the Super Bowl. I thought that was the next year. Well, even if it was, she sang Roar. That was her biggest song. I still thought it was cool. And I think I don't think Bruno Mars made it until the following year. Like he got his first thing the following year. Or the year before. I don't know. I don't know. Treasure is the one where he took off. But I'm gonna say Roar. Right. Here we go. Let's see who won. Katy Perry. Royal by Joe Little and Ellie. Yeah. Dude, we knew that song was hot. Like it was really popular. All right, good for you. No points. I'm still ahead by one. Is this the last video? Yes. All right, Blake. You got it. You got to tie me, or I win. Be serious, guys. Next video. Here are the nominees for performance by an actress in a leading role. Kate Blanchett, Carol. Brie Larson, bro. Jennifer Lawrence, Joy. Charlotte Rampling, 45 years. Saoirse Ronan, Brooklyn.
And the Oscar goes to... I have seen none of those movies. Nope, but none I do them. have an idea of who would potentially win. I've got two. What, who do you think is going to potentially win? Like, who are your choices if you had to pick two? If I had to pick two... I would say Kate mm -hmm. or Jennifer. I was thinking Kate or Sersha. Sir Sersha. Sersha Ronan. Shoot. Sersha Ronan or Kate Blanchett. That's my that's my picks. But if we both go Kate, I'm gonna win. I know. So that means you either you have to go Jennifer or, or I have to go Sersha or you have to go Kate and I have to go Sersha. Sersha? I think it's Sersha. Yeah. Okay. I got mine. I got mine. Okay. Three, two, one. Kate. Sersha. Sersha. Dang it. Sorry. Kate. I know I'm butchering your name, Sersha. I'm going to say it's going with Brooklyn. Come on. Come on, Ro Give me Car the Carol. <laughs> come on, Carol. <laughs> come on, Carol. <laughs> Brooklyn, come on. Free Lawson. <laughs> I'm okay. I still win. I still get the point. Damn you. Woo! This is the first Oscar and nomination for Brie Larson. Congratulations, man. Dang it. The little kid is happy. Congratulations. Congratulations? Congratulations, Brie. <laughs> you did a great job. Um, cool. Well, that's it. I got the point, which means Blake loses. Which means... I suck at this game. Which means Blake <laughs> has to give a monologue... As his punishment. A monologue? About his nipple. What, take it away, what Blake. What do you mean a monologue? A monologue, like, a, like an opening sequence to like, you talk about yourself. Like, it's like, you know, have you ever, you know, never heard of a monologue? It's like you, you just talk about something. Kind of like a speech. So I just got to talk about my nipple? Yep. <laughs> As if it were a story. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And now, an opening monologue from Blake Abshire and his nipple. So growing up, everybody would try to flick my nipples all the time. And then, after a while, I'd start flicking their nipples. And, you know, I was like, every time they'd flick their nipple, they'd think, or flick my nipple, they'd think they would get it, and I'd have to tell them all the time that they're wrong. They never, ever were able to get my nipple. Until I took my shirt off. <laughs> Thank you guys for liking and subscribing. We'll see you guys next time on Potty Mouth Show.